So it's uh, Tuesday today. We're uh, just been doing a bit of block work this morning. It's one o'clock now. And it's been waiting for us to for ten minutes or so. Uh, show you what we've got done so far. What we've been on. So obviously we did we did that yesterday. Put this frame in. Put a frame in at the back. And run them pillars in. We've done this front corner this morning. Teaching Dean how to lay a few blocks, and then we're going to build this round. Fill in this fill in this frame. Top of frame. And jump on that back. Dean's loaded it with brick. A couple hundred brick there to do, and that should be us for today. And then tomorrow, I'll set an internal profile up there, and he should have that corner up today uh, easily. So we'll run this in tomorrow. Pop all the intels on. A couple of quarter brick out front and back, and we should be done tomorrow on here. Um, yeah. Right. See you in the next clip. Right, so we're back on this uh, this band lift. My plot originally started on here. So I'll show you what we've been doing. Jamie's been uh, helping us for just today and then he's helping us tomorrow and he's back on his, uh, back with his brother. So uh, we flat started today. We've got six course all the way around, left out for his windows. Uh, we did all of this down to here. And then Jamie did this little Z shape. Um, yeah, what we've done for cavities, uh, we'll have to block out of over every tray. I made Jamie leave one out there, took one out on his there, one out there, uh, one out over that tray, one out there, and one out there. Every tray now we can clean from the inside of the house instead of having to bust them with the uh, lats. So, yeah, right, it's quarter to four and I'm getting off. Uh, see you in the next one. So, it's Friday, it's my attire for today, pink glasses, pink viz, uh, we're just getting up to about half nine, just been loading out this morning, a bit slow with folks, and um, set profiles up, and uh, yeah, you know, brim a tub now, use it till 12, brim another one, proper brim it, I'll show you what I'm doing, so I'll show you what I, mean, what I mean by brimming it. To there, that's right, a brim. It's a big tub, this, you know, pretty big size. So, uh, we'll fill that right to the top. We should get through that this morning, easy a couple hours. And uh, yeah, see you next clip. Right, yeah, it's fucking one o'clock. That's what we got done so far this morning. I'm gonna set me, like, me, my phone up over there, get a bit of time lapse. Dean's passing gear over boards to me. We're all gonna smash this up. The 15 course on here, and then we'll drop on that down there. We've loaded a bit out for tomorrow. Hey guys, Harry here, back with another bit lane vlog. So today we're back on this band lift from my uh, last solo day video. So that was a couple of videos ago, I think. Um, yeah, it's so the second week with back with Dean as the one-on-one. -on -one. Um, Mel may be making an appearance in coming weeks. We're, we'll see. We'll see if we'll make up the official one and two gang again but it's pretty going pretty well and it's uh, a little bit easier for, you, for me to just manage one person and uh, teach Dean nice steady away these hours are dead easy ideal to learn on to be honest you know um, you know the simpler the better really for learning and these bricks are ideal as well to uh, you know to practice with I think we'll be on uh, the concrete bricks maybe sometime next week maybe the week after if we drop on uh when i should drop on something else but i think i think the concretes will be looming in the next couple of uh next couple of weeks uh for definite so you'll see a bit more concrete brick footage if any of you guys out there have dropped on a site with concrete bricks hopefully you'll get a few ideas how to approach builds because you have to do them very much differently than you do clay bricks so as you can see here i'm doing the um, you know tailing out a large corner but I do it um, instead of you know say tailing out you know 12 bricks each, 12 bricks each each side to make a 24 course corner I tail out you know probably 25 bricks uh, 25 bricks at least maybe 25 bricks one side and then I'll rack back uh, maybe 12 or 13 around the opposite corner so I do like an elongated corner um, just so I can hit gables in two runs 
um, instead of three. Whereas like the traditional big corners, you're sort of building uh, on a square plot at least. He's building sort of you know four big corners and then running in between each one of them, which works very well on a square plot. But this plot in particular has a porch on the front, so it's uh, it's very in it's got you know two internals. So we we're going to be running this plot still in four sort of runs but uh, it'll include an internal and then it'll, it'll have five hits in a sense because it'll have the front to run in that we'll leave down for access for doing the block until the very end when we have to fill it in um so yeah i've not really done a proper voiceover in a while so um i'm just doing one now and i'm getting a bit of close-up footage so you can see how i'm spreading i did a uh, a video on the you know how to how to spread efficiently and stuff without putting the grooves in uh, especially on these perforated bricks you know perforated bricks bricks with frogs in you know even c concrete bricks the same there's not much point in putting furrows in the in the mortar um it's just extra movements extra movements throughout a day really adds up uh, you know to fatigue a lot of people as well you know when they're putting the grooves in the sp in the uh in the spread you know you're you you know you're furrowing out that mud or that muck or whatever you want to call it that mortar that you use for your next perp when you do it running in traditional i'm doing a you know front uh front and back tip or a front and top tip uh, on the joints you know with you know with squeezing out enough mortar as you can see you know you're still filling your head joint every time a um, bit more, a bit reminiscent of how they do it in the Spec Mix 500. It's probably one of the most fastest ways to to run a long string, um, or run a long bed out. Especially this type of mortar we're on. It's uh, wait, what's mortar? Uh, a bit more stickier, comes a little bit wetter, and um, it's ideal. It's ideal. We're getting through probably a tub in around uh, an hour and a half now. Uh, probably you know probably two hours actually two hours when me and Dean are laying you know a good a good pace so uh, if we have you know if we can get loaded out in front and get on you know some long, long enough runs uh, we will probably use about three tubs three medium sized tubs a day uh, at the moment we'd, we've I did two and I did two and a quarter today or yeah two brimmers and a quarter uh, today. Uh, but we had Jamie with us. Jamie built like a bit of a big corner out. He tailed out 12 bricks each side and uh, built it halfway up or so. So he used some of the mortar today. Um, but yeah, that's these, as you've seen in the beginning of the clips, the tubs are a little bit bigger as well. So, you know, we're just, I'm trying to gauge how much mortar we're going to need because we're, I've been leaving a lot earlier, believe it or not, from than my previous videos when I was doing uh, Days with Mel or Days Solo. I'm leaving no later than uh quarter to four four o'clock on a late finish uh normally if we leave at four it's normally half an hour loading out in front before we leave um because i'm just focusing at the moment on getting dean to load out just enough that we need for the day and maybe a few a few hundred extra so normally two packs of bricks about a thousand bricks you know loaded out in a day and then leaves us a few hundred spare for the following day and then don't require too much you know loading out to start um, I'm trying to get Dean laying at least, you know, 80 bricks, 100 bricks a day, depending on what runs we're on. I don't have to check his brickwork very often at all. There's only minor few adjustments, but obviously he's only laying to a line. But that's, you know, that's what you want out of, uh, out of someone who's an improver, you know, slash, you know, uh, learning, you know. I don't, like I say, improver status is for someone probably, you know, with a year, year or two's experience, whereas... Um, you know, Dean's two weeks or two weeks or three weeks into laying bricks, so he's doing really good. And uh, you know, you know, I'd like to see Mel and Dean go head to head on who can lay fastest, because I think Mel might be able to, you know, outlay her, outlay him by quite a few bricks. She's she's uh, she likes to get him down. You know, she's not. Mel's smiling at me, but I reckon I reckon Mel would be slightly quicker, but she's had a little bit more experience. But um, we'll see how everyone fares on the concretes. Uh, they are concrete bricks are a little bit more forgiving for learners. Um, 
but obviously requires more pointing so when we're on the concrete so hopefully everyone will be able to get done you know get done some more laying and then we can all team the jointing up at the end when it when it's gone off a bit um and we'll be doing a few different methods at the moment we're sort of just you know using five board setups at the moment when we go on to using the concrete it's going to be a uh, close to like a nine ten board setup um running in long flanks um i'm going to be tailing out small corners freehand with the level um i'll be using less of these three profile setups probably going back to more two profiles um <coughs> or a three profile setup if we've got you know the adequate distance to run in because with the concrete bricks you need to run on longer flanking at once to let the each course go off stop any sinkage any belly in uh, and the mortar has to be a little bit more workable so it's probably a bit better for pick and dip so uh, a lot of these bricks a lot of the days have been laying uh, traditional so um that is something uh that you know is a bit of a bonus with the clay brick with the conny bricks is you can pick and dip them a bit easier they lay better at pick and dip and you know that's where you can get the speed increase obviously you get slowed down in other aspects but you know I, I find pick and dipping the concrete is very easy they have a very natural feel when you're picking dipping them um and hopefully this more we shouldn't have too much problem because we're going to be always running out that bed always going to be long spreading but uh to let that mortar go off a little bit as well so it's you know the the similar things to what i'm doing now but uh, they don't have as big a perforations in the brick, so, you know, all bonus, all bonus in that sense. Uh, but anyway, um, that's all I've got to basically talk about in this video. That's sort of what's coming up in the coming weeks. Um, you'll probably see a video Monday. We'll, we are working Saturday um, of this week, so, but I don't think I'll film. We're just going to get a, we're just going to brim a tub, smash 400 bricks in. I think we can get out of a tub with these, uh, uh, with these uh, these bricks, and then we're gonna get off. So um, it's gonna be a nice early day, early day. Uh, so we'll be. I'll show you what we'll be running in Monday. I'll have an internal setup to show you, which I've used uh, mul multiple times. Um, but um, it'll be you know something that I can just show you. I've got a few of the little pointers I can show with the internals because once you master profiles. I'm getting pretty quick at them now, you know, it, it does open up a lot of, uh, you know, increases in speed and you can get, you can get them set up in, you can get three profiles set up in 15 minutes, no sweat and it's, it's faster than building corners, so, uh, free answer anyway. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, hope you've stuck around and uh, uh, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more, um, more content weekly you know a few videos a week i try to get out so if you're enjoying the content you know stick around for more brick lane tips you know brick lane on the job real world experience you know real world application you know i'm not one of these brick lays to show you just the good days there's always plenty of bad days i uh, i like to show on the channel and how to sort of make the most of uh when things don't always go to plan so thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video
so it's Friday as you know uh, this is what we got done today a uh, flat start again uh, we've got about 700 brick down here today which is pretty good you know I did most of it Dean helped out probably laid at least 50 60 so maybe 70 brick check it out so we got that round to window rack back just a couple of course that's 23 big rack back all the way around to here Jamie built that corner as you can see racked it from there I filled it in that's a nice 700 brick there so yeah right see you uh, next week well I'm coming in tomorrow uh, for a Saturday but I'll probably not film I'll, uh, tubbing off right see you in the next clip so I hope you enjoyed the video um, as you can see I got like three days worth of footage compiled into one video so that's what I sort of normally try and do sort of I normally try to get two videos a week so I'll do like one big day get a video and then get some head cam and stuff like that so hope you enjoyed hope you you know got a few tips uh, the thing the uh, blocks out over the uh, damp trays up on the up on the upstairs lift um, I got that idea from Derby Brickwork a long time ago um, they don't really do traditional style vlog videos like I do uh, it's sort of explaining stuff they do a lot of shorts but they have a lot of you know very clever ideas so check them out if you're looking for any tips on clean cavities you know I don't know how they get them that clean now they, they must spend more time on the mind than I do <laughs> so I can't know what I can say so yeah anyway guys thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you, see you in the next video